Jesus is our rock. Kids rock. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. And as my children like to say, we are only five short sleeps away from Christmas for celebrating the greatest gift given to us, Jesus. So if you will, let's pray together. Fix your hands and bow your heads, please. Gracious and almighty God, we love you and we praise you. Help us to prepare our hearts for the best gift given to us, your son, Jesus. Amen. Okay, friends, now we're going to have some music time. All right, friends, so let's do the Christian bug song. That's right, I said bug. Okay, so the sign I'm going to use for bug is this right here, back and forth, like, like a little antenna or antenna, or if you have more than one, whatever you call that. So, all right, so we're going to do it like this. I don't mean to bug you. Dee -dee -dee -dee. That's right, you have to get, try using these fingers. Dee -dee -dee -dee. But God loves you. Dee -dee -dee -dee. I don't mean to bug you. Dee -dee -dee -dee. But God knows just who you are. I don't mean to bug you. Dee -dee -dee -dee. But God loves you. Dee -dee -dee -dee. He's got a big, big love. For little, little you, I don't mean to bug you. Oh, we've got to do this part. Bug you, but God loves you. All right, so you got that part? So it actually goes a little bit faster, so let's practice it again, okay? So get your antenna up here. I don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God loves you, dee 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 dee. I don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God knows just who you are. I don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God loves you, dee 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 dee. He's got a big, big love for little, little you. I don't mean to bug you, but God loves you. All right, so now there's another part, right? So it says, this is kind of the funnier part, if you get the funny part of it, but it means, it goes like this. I don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God loves you, dee 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 dee. Don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God knows just who you are. Don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God loves you, dee 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 dee. He's got a sweet, sweet love for stinky, stinky you. Don't mean to bug you, but God loves you. So the question in between is, so what happens if you do something that's not so nice? That's when you're the stink bug. So let's go back and do it from the beginning. We're gonna add a little bit of music, so let's see if we can keep up. I don't need to you. This is it. But God loves you, dee 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 dee. I don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God knows just who you are. Don't mean to bug you, dee 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 dee. But God loves you, dee 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 dee. He's got a big, big love for little, for little, little you. I don't mean to bug you, but God loves you. Are you ready for the question? So here it is. What's it like if I do something that's not really nice, right? When you're a stink bug, dee 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 dee. God loves you, dee 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 dee. When you're a stink bug, dee 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 dee. God knows who you really are when you're a stink bug, dee 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 dee. God loves you, dee 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 dee. He's got a sweet, sweet love, yep, for stinky, stinky you. When you're a stink bug, God loves you. Woo! Nicely done! You did a great job. That was really well done. So remember, when you're a stink bug, God still loves you. Okay, as I said earlier, today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. This is our last Sunday in Advent. And we have our Advent wreath here. And let's talk about each candle and what they mean. So on the first Sunday of Advent, we lit our candle for the word hope because Jesus brings hope to all the world. And on the second Sunday of Advent, we talked about the word peace. Peace. 
And Jesus is sometimes known as the Prince of Peace. And he brings peace to our hearts when we believe in him. In our third Sunday in Advent, we talked about the word, the word joy. And we know in the Christmas story that I bring you good news of great joy. That's what the angel Gabriel said to the shepherds. And on our last Sunday of Advent, that is today, the fourth Sunday, we're going to talk about the word love. So God sent his son, Jesus, so that we could love everybody and so that he loves us too. So our four words are hope, peace, joy, and love. So I want to encourage you at this time or another time that you set aside with your family to light your fourth candle today to prepare your hearts for the birth of Jesus and let's learn about the word love. For unto us a child is born. Isaiah 9, 6. Woo! Hey, honey! Hey, buddy! How are you doing? It's good to see you. You too. Woo. I am so excited. Well, I just got called in by God. We've got a job to do to share some news. What? Drop whatever you're doing. We've got to go. But, but, but what about my Advent read? This is important. Excuses? Excuses. Yes, I know you have done a great job I, with that. I've memorized all of these. Yeah, okay, so but this is the thing. I mean, aren't these gifts? Yeah, those are gifts, but the news is that the baby, the Savior, the one that everyone has awaited, is born tonight, and we got to get out there and spread the word. So, so we need to set this aside so we can go and do that. So we don't need to worry about the gifts. Who are we going to share the word to? Well, you've been taking care of these candles to help us prepare our hearts for the birth. <gasps> the birth of the baby. Yes, That's right. Yes. Yeah, this is the one. So what are those gifts that we're supposed to be receiving? So hope. Yeah, hope. Peace. Yes. Joy. Yeah, no, that's joy. Joy yeah. and love. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes. Yeah, those, are, those are the gifts, right? So I'm so excited that you kept this all together and kept it. But yeah, now it's time to move on to tell the good so news. Who, who do we tell first? Well, okay, so first we got to travel. Oh, so I'm where are we going? Well, so we're going to this place called Bethlehem. I've never been there. You've been there before? I have not. Do you know how to get there? I don't, but I have wings and we can fly. And yeah, we might need to check with Siri too. So, <laughs> all right, but anyway, we've got to go to Bethlehem, right? We've got to get to Bethlehem so that we can tell the shepherds first. God was very, very clear to tell the shepherds first about the birth of the baby. Yeah. So when we get there, wait, wait, wait. Let's what, think. What, what, wait, wait. What are we gonna say to the shepherds? Yeah, let's think a little bit because um, they might be afraid. <gasps> when they we see us. What should we say? Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. So we'll tell them, do not be afraid. For unto you in the city of David is born Christ the, the Lord. Lord in Bethlehem. So they got to drop everything too. They need to leave their sheep. They need to go on into the town of Bethlehem. And there they will find the baby. Yes, that would be great. Huh? That sounds like a great plan. I'm ready to go. So, so I think you're supposed to ask me, how will they know they found the right baby, right? How, how will they know that they found the right baby, though? Yeah, so it's great how we think alike. So, you know, so God said that this baby will be wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger. A manger? Yeah, you know, like a, yeah, like a food trough. A food trough? Yeah, and God said there will be animals around there. Animals? What kind of? This yeah. doesn't sound like a place for a king to be born. You know, I didn't really think about that when he said that. But he said that the child would be laying in the manger because there was no room for them in right. the inn. What? No room? Why, why couldn't they take them? Well, I mean, this is baby Jesus. How is there no room for him? Yeah, you think, you'd think that God would have planned ahead and made a reservation. but So maybe this is God's plan. Because God said to tell the shepherds first, and if the baby was born near animals with his mom and dad, then maybe it's God's plan that instead of being a king who was born like in a castle with gold and silver and soldiers and all these fine things, that he wanted this baby to be born in a humble place with animals and just regular people. So 
Well, time is running out. We, we have to go. go. Yes, we've got to hit the road. So, or actually, we're flying. We're flying. We better look both left look and right, right and make sure we can find the city of David got Bethlehem. It. And I'll but, take my wreath with me. Yeah, be careful with that. Because, but yeah, that's great. I'm glad that you brought that. I'm so glad that you took care of it too. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, friends, everybody on your feet. We're going to have some music time. All right, friends. So since we're in the Advent season, let's sing a song that reminds us to prepare our hearts to celebrate the birth of the most special baby of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of God. So there's a song, um, A Christmas Carol, Away in a Manger. We're going to try to do it a little bit differently, but you're going to have to help me, right? So it's going to be a little bit different than what you have sung before. So let's try it this way, all right? Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the all right, so you kind of got the tune? All right, well, let's try it again. So, this time let's do it and let's stomp, okay? So, away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the night sky looked down where he lay. The even better. All right, so do you think you can clap still with that? Okay, so let's pretend like we've got somebody clapping and we've got somebody stomping and try to hear the music in your head and then I'm going to try to add a little bit of a tambourine too, okay? So, away in a manger. Wait, did you hear that? You sounded great. All right, let's try that again, okay? Whoever was singing that time, sing out. Let's try it again. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his feet and the stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. That was great. What? Faster? All right, so we, we, I'm not sure I can do it faster. Do you think you can do it faster? All right, well, I'm always up for a challenge. Okay, all right, so that means you got to stomp a little faster and you got to clap a little faster. It's a whole lot to think about. Let's see if we can do it faster, okay? Away in the manger, no kids for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Wait, you did do that faster. That was much better. Well done. Let's try a song, This Little Light of Mine. So maybe you have sung this before other times. We're going to change it just a little bit, but um, let's talk about kind of how it goes. So you need one finger on one hand, whichever when you decide. Okay, we're going to go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Now, so this is the light. So this is like your, your candle, and let's just pretend like it has a flame up there. So it's going to go. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. That was, okay, that was really good. Yes, you've heard this one before. So then we're gonna go, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Woo, that was really nicely done. So let's try it this time with some music. Let's see if we can do this with the music. Now, so this, this is a song where you have to like stomp and clap on the back beat, right? So see if you can stomp, clap, stomp, clap. Oh wait, that's going pretty well. Yeah, keep going. You gotta think about it a little bit. 
All right, so here, let's try it. We're going to try this. We're going to sing it a little bit with the music. Let's try that, okay? So when you do that, you got to stomp your feet. Let's try stomping. There you go. And then see if you can clap your hands, too. Wait, did you hear that? You sounded great. That was really well done. All right, let's try it with some music, too. Can you stomp? Can I stomp your feet like that? There you go. Stomp your feet and then clap your hands. Oh, that's really well done. You can feel it, right? I'm going to start with this little light of mine, one finger on one hand. You pick. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, keep stomping. Got your feet going. Now clap. Sounds good. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, you gotta stomp so and clap. Let's go. Wow, that was really well done. All right, now right, here we go this way. Even when I'm afraid, if you get tiny, I'm right? Gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. How low can you go? Even when I'm afraid. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Here we go, clap your hands and this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everybody go all the way down to the floor. Nicely done. Y'all did a great job with that. I know someone is new, sometimes it's a little more difficult, but you did a great job keeping up with the music as well as the clapping and the stomping. Well done. At this time, I encourage you to get out your special ops jar and make sure to add your prayers and offering to your jar. And when we all come back together, we'll have a blessing for those. And I also want to remind you that on Christmas Eve, we will not have a service in person, but we have a service for you to view on YouTube. Um, you can see our nativity and all of our characters, and it's a beautiful service. And I also encourage you, if you have not, to come by the church and pick up your glow sticks. That way you can participate in the lighting when we sing Silent Night. And also on Christmas Eve, even though we don't have a service in person, this year we are offering a brand new, it's going to be fabulous, drive through live nativity experience. So tell your family to get in your car, wear your pajamas, and come through our drive through nativity. You'll get to talk to some of the characters and you'll get to see the animals. And it's a great way to experience Christmas. So I encourage you to come to that. And that is from five to 6.30 on Christmas Eve, right here in the Shandon parking lot. All right, friends, let's bow our heads and end in a prayer. Gracious and almighty God, we love you and we praise you. Thank you for your gifts of hope, peace, love, and joy. And thank you especially for your son, Jesus, who loves us all the time. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. See you next time.